Hi everyone. So today we are going to solve a problem which frequently comes up with my clients in ConnectWise. And that is when using a workflow rule, they can't see the sales order number embedded in the email. The reason is that there's no email token called sales orders in your workflow rule database, but there is a workaround for this. So what I would like to do is have a workflow rule called sales order ready to ship, for example. And what I want to happen is that anytime there's a sales order which has been fully picked but not shipped, I would like it to send an email to the contact for this item. And I want the email subject to read sales order number is ready to ship. If I go in here and take a look, I'll notice that there's no sales order number here at all, which can be very frustrating. And I always have people ask me about this. The workaround is this item record ID. So if you use the item record ID, this will populate the sales order number. Seems a bit counterintuitive, but it does work. And what I'll do is drop a link to all of the email tokens in the university below as well, because you can find all the different email tokens which are available, as well as when they can be used and in what system. This is a huge help to make sure that you're putting the most information as possible in each of your automated emails. 